So folks, on these answering machines, do me a favor, would you please? When you record your outgoing message, don't bother telling me you can't come to the phone. I understand that. <laughs> Apparently, that's why we have these machines. <laughs> and don't tell me to leave my name and number. Somehow, I figured that out. <laughs> and if you work in an office, never mind that stuff, I'm away from my desk. If you had to take a shit, say so. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And this is Two Neighbors. So what are we watching today, Adam? We are going back to George Carlin, and this is called George Carlin on Phone. Bluetooth answering machines. So let's give it a whirl. Just something you never hear a man say, stop sucking my dick or I'll call the police. <laughs> <laughs> there are some more people who ought to be smashed across the face repeatedly with a piece of heavy mining equipment. These grown men, grown men, who refer to their fathers as my daddy. You know? Yeah. Gee, you hear a lot of this stupid shit in the South. These rebel assholes, you know? My daddy, my daddy, yeah, my daddy. Well, you know what my daddy used to say? My daddy used to say, blah, 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 Oh, he did. Daddy, well, wasn't that fucking enlightening? My daddy used to say, fuck your daddy. Fuck your daddy. In his wrinkled, rusted, rural country asshole. Grow up, Billy Joe Carl Bob Danny Frank. <laughs> You're not six anymore. More like nine. Here's another unfortunate pack of mutants who ought to be penciled in for a sudden visit from the angel of death. These guys, these guys who can't tell you about a phone call they had without giving you this shit. The fucking pinky on the thumb. <laughs> like they attended mime college. <laughs> Studied under Marcel Marceau. So I call her up, you know? And I'm talking to her. <laughs> and she fucking hangs up on me. So I hang up on her. <laughs> and she calls me back. I fucking hang up again. <laughs> I say, hey Bruno, thanks for the visual aid. <laughs> but we all understand the concept of the telephone. You hold it in your hand, you talk into it. Excuse me, Bruno, incoming call. <laughs> oh, hey, it's for you. <laughs> Live from New York City. Here's another bunch of pus headed telephone cretins. These self-important techno dicks who walk around with these hands-free telephone headsets and earpieces. <laughs> Mr. Self-Important doesn't want to be too far from the phone in case Henry Kitchen can call. <laughs> He's got the Dalai Lama on line two. I say, hey, spaceman. As long as your hands are free, reach over here and find all my balls. <laughs> I fucking hated those people. <laughs> they're still around. They're still around. <laughs> and answering machines. Starting with these people who think it's cute to let their children record the outgoing message. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you can't understand a word of it because the kid's a fucking imbecile. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stacy. I'm five years old. My mommy and daddy are in home, but I miss a man. 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 <laughs> Here's my message, Stacy. I'm coming over to your house with a big knife. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill mommy and daddy. <laughs> then I'm gonna peel off their skin and make a funny hat. <laughs> After that, I'm gonna take out my huge ding dong and stick it right in your. <laughs> <laughs> oh, savage. These are the same parents who at Christmas time send you pictures of their children. <laughs> pictures you didn't ask for and you don't want. But it is fun throwing the pictures away, isn't it? <laughs> I don't even look at the fucking Christmas card. Who is this? Luann is 12 this year. Fuck Luann. <laughs> I give a shit how old she is. Does she have any tits yet? Jesus. 
Send me a picture of Lou Anne's tits. <laughs> then I know I'm going to have a happy new year, too. <laughs> then, just to compound your holiday pleasure, they enclose a family newsletter. Just what you're hoping for. <laughs> News about people you can barely fucking remember. <laughs> We're so proud of Brad, he's been accepted into dental school. Yeah, in the Philippines. <laughs> After four tries. <laughs> Fuck Brad and everybody who looks like Brad. <laughs> Judging from his picture, I think he's jerking off too much. Keep him away from Luann. <laughs> Here's another bunch of genetic defectives who've been turned loose on answering machines. These guys who cannot resist the urge to put music on their outgoing message. <laughs> you know, some guy spends eight dollars at Radio Shack and suddenly he's a fucking record producer. <laughs> because he's busy in the basement jacking off his dog, I, I have to listen to substandard music. <laughs> It's always rotten music, you know? It's either New Age, that pointless, meandering zombie noise played by pseudo-spiritual lunatics who think wind chimes are a musical instrument. <laughs> or else it's soft rock. Soft rock, that lame-ass, weak, non-threatening suburban white boy junk played by bands like Men Without Testicles. <laughs> oh. Well, folks, on these answering machines, do me a favor, would you please? When you record your outgoing message, don't bother telling me you can't come to the phone. I understand that. <laughs> Apparently that's why we have these machines. And don't tell me to leave my name and number. Somehow, I figured that out. <laughs> and if you work in an office, never mind that stuff, I'm away from my desk. If you had to take a shit, say so. <laughs> Just say, hi, this is Mary Louise. I had the Mexican jalapeno bean chili dip. And I washed it down with a gallon of gin. I'll be in and out all day. <laughs> there are some more people who ought to be strapped into chairs and beaten with hammers. People who wear visors. Let me ask you something. What the fuck is the point in wearing half a hat? <laughs> Either get a hat or don't. No one's interested in the top of your hat. Go back to the store and tell them to give you the rest of the hat. <laughs> they cheated you. Better still, get yourself one of the little Jewish hats and sew it to your visor. <laughs> then you got yourself a full-fledged fucking hat, my friend. Here are some more musical vermin whose mothers we wish had had medical plans that included abortion. <laughs> these singers, these singers who think they're so special, they only need one name. Bono, Sting, Jewel, Tiffany, Prince, what a crock of shit. Get a fucking last name, would you please? <laughs> I got a nice two-word name for you, Pretentious Cocksucker. <laughs> Sting. It's not bad enough the music sucks, but with no last name, you can't find a way to live to throw a fucking bomb through their window. <laughs> Here are some more people who deserve an inoperable tumor at the base of their spines. <laughs> These guys who fly around the world in a fucking balloon. <laughs> What is this, 1850? <laughs> Get a fucking airline ticket, will you? <laughs> when are the media going to realize no one's interested in some rich trouser stain who's so bored he's got to fly around the balloon all day? <laughs> I hope the next guy gets hit by lightning. He <laughs> flies around the little fart circles. <laughs> <laughs> and lands in a sewage treatment pond and sinks with the rest of the turds. <laughs> Mr. Lighter Than Air. There is another pack of jack-offs who ought to be strangled in front of their children. <laughs> People who pay for inexpensive items with a credit card. Now, folks, 
Take my word for this. Like a coffee. Raisinets is not a major purchase. <laughs> Get some fucking cash together. No one should be paying a bank 18% interest on Tic Tacs. And you're holding up the fucking line, too. Some dorky looking prick with a fanny pack waiting to be approved for a bag of cheese doodles. <laughs> I need this like I need an infected scrotum. Get some fucking money. Next guy ahead of me online pays for Newsweek with a credit card and is getting stabbed in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> George Carlin. Uh, that's good. That you was know, a good one. Classic Georgie. Uh, he was angry in this one. He was. He's getting a little angry at senile yeah. and he's uh, letting his hair grow a little bit. But I, I feel like this is like one of his last ones. I don't know. Maybe if you know, please uh, comment down below. Maybe give us some insight on uh, this stand-up if you're familiar with it. And yeah. uh, what else should they do, Ryan? Like, share, and subscribe. Guys, it, it takes two seconds. Hit the subscribe button. It really does help and we really appreciate it. So if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, guys. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.